So I got this little new gadget. Well, I'll call it, uh, it's actually a PC. And what it is, it's a Intel Microsoft uh, PC. And it's called the Kangaroo. And I ordered this from the Microsoft Store. And it was $134 plus tax um, and shipping in Canada. So it was a really good deal. I logged in under the education store. Normally it's $150, so you can get a bit of a deal um, if you're a student. Uh, okay, so what is it? It is a full-fledged Windows 10 PC that is about the size of a smartphone. Um, now hopefully I can get the... Uh, the color is a little weird, but the angle correct, so you can see it. It's just got a matte black finish with a little kangaroo logo here. There's this little, it looks like a lanyard hole maybe. That lights up blue when you plug it in, and I'll get to that later when I plug it in. So there's USB 3, USB 2, HDMI, um, power port here on the side, um, some vents, uh, a micro SD port right here a micro um, USB cable but that is only for charging has a built-in battery I should mention uh, fingerprint scanner right here power button and then this is an action switch and what this action switch does is it allows you to do um, uh, terminal services into it using a VNC I haven't done it myself it's that's what it says on the website uh, so basically you could set this up, sit it in the corner having it, uh, I don't know, be a media player or something and control it from your uh, from another device that's running VNC as well. I've used a Chrome uh, remote desktop RDP on it and it works really well that way too and there's a few other ones you can use. Uh, I was going to use this for a media center. What I'm probably going to end up doing with this is it's going to run on my 3D printer now. Um, instead of operating my full um, workstation and leaving that on because it, it runs a little bit more power but it's also noisier. This makes no noise uh, so that's kind of nice. There's, it's fanless. It does get warm. Uh, I've tested it playing some MP4s, um, MKVs and stuff. It, it runs fine. It installs stuff uh, quickly. I won't bother to show that. That's just you know Windows 10 stuff. It, it runs fine. comes out of the box Windows 10. Basically uh, I plugged it in, turned it on went through the setup. Um, incidentally, as you mentioned, uh, there is a setup for the fingerprint scanner. I haven't done that. I don't really have a need for that type of security with this, but you can set that up. It's built in. Um, I mentioned the action switch to do remote desktop to it using VNC. And the way that also works is it uses Wi-Fi Direct. So you don't need to be running. Now, what you normally have to do with a remote desktop connection is be on a network. So you'd have to have some type of wireless network hooked up to this because it's wireless. There is no um, network port. With Wi-Fi Direct, if you connect directly to another computer or a tablet or phone that has Wi-Fi, so you you connect directly to it as like if it was like almost like a hotspot, and that gains you connectivity between the the two devices. So uh, built-in Bluetooth, so Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to hook up to it uh, is uh, is a really easy way to get a keyboard and mouse hooked up to it or else you need an expansion uh, you need um, uh, an expander for your USB so you need uh, need to get one of those in case you needed more USB ports uh, because there's only two really nice finish tiny as you can see compared to my hand um, now it has this docking station which is kinda interesting you can buy additional docking stations so I suppose you could have one on a different TV um, for me, I, I, it doesn't really. I don't really need another dock. HDMI port only, so your sound and your video comes through that port only, which is kind of, uh, which is okay. I kind of wish I could hook it up to a DVI, so I ordered um, an HDMI to DVI connector so I can use it on my regular monitors. Now a lot of some of the new monitors I think do have HDMI might not be an issue but on older stuff it is so right now the only way I can use it is if I set it up on my TV or if I remote desktop into it uh, yeah that's all that there's to it now there are some additional features with this um, there's an HDMI to um, iOS cable and that allows you to run I believe it's um, an OS uh, Linux OS Linux um, for iOS 
and that's another way you can connect this and have it up on an iPad apparently. Um, I don't have an iPad so I can't comment on that directly. Um, but it boots really quickly and what I'm going to do is plug it in here in a minute and show you how quick it boots and that'll be the extent of this uh, this overview and review. Not much to it, if you know Windows 10, that's it, this is just a small PC that runs Windows 10. Really good for a media player, uh, works fine, uh, the Wi-Fi is plenty fast for streaming uh, the specs on it. Uh, I guess I didn't go over that. So it comes with Windows 10 64-bit Home Edition. I'm just reading what's off the box here. Uh, it's an Intel Atom processor, 1.44 gigahertz. Um, it says Turbo Boost up to 2.24 gigahertz. So it's not a, at least it's a, a mobile chipset. Yeah, uh, it's integrated graphics, of course, Intel HD graphics. Uh, the audio is through Bluetooth, USB, or HDMI output only. There is no audio port, as I mentioned. System memory is two gigabytes of DDR3, um, LP DDR3. 32 gigs of internal storage. Obviously, it's in a solid state. Uh, expansion slots, one micro SD. Uh, power. So this is the power adapter that comes with it. 36 watts. And, doo -doo -doo. and it has an 8.1 watt hour lithium ion battery that's built in. It gets you, I think I read on the website, around 4 hours of unplugged power. It has a fingerprint reader, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, one micro USB for charging only, one HDMI. I went over all this stuff already. So the wireless is uh, 802.11ac, Bluetooth 4.0 and that's about it so and in the box I should say it doesn't really come with anything except for the plug and the actual device itself that's it in the docking station that's all that it came with um, other than that you have to go on the website to grab the instructions it did have this little wimpy manual here not much to it um, but if you know anything about Windows 10 it's easy enough to use so Okay, I'm going to just plug it in and show you how quick it boots, and that'll be the end of this review. Okay, I got it plugged into HDMI to my TV. I stuck a mouse on it. Um, I'm going to power it on. Still booting. There we go. So that booted fairly quickly. So for a media center, it'll be uh, pretty reasonable. Install something like Kodi on it, and um, you got yourself a full-fledged media center. Put a, a media remote on it, and um, it's good to go. So yeah, as you can see, it's full Windows 10. It's got all the tiles and everything there. So um, yeah, I'm not going to bother to go through it. It's just Windows 10. So, it's Windows 10 Home, I should mention. And, uh, yeah, so it booted fairly quickly under, um, I don't know, whatever that was, 40-some seconds, maybe. So, uh, great buy. As you can see, it's running off of uh, power. So, for a portable computer, or if you don't have any real need for gaming, high, you know, any type of, like, games or, uh, you know, except for, like, card games or something, um, you know, this is fine for uh, a little desktop PC instead of a laptop. You could... Uh, use it just on a on a TV. Um, okay, so that's my review of this. Uh, not really so much a review; it's just my impressions of it. I suppose I really like it. Uh, the price was right. So, all right. Thanks for watching.